Welcome back everyone to another Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich CSA playthrough run. This time we are going to be uh, hopefully invading Africa. So I've got a few divisions moving in and uh, they're getting covered by our ships when they cross the pond. And uh, yeah, when they get to a good... Wow, you sunk them both. When they get to a spot, we can send them out on our uh, merry naval invasions. So yeah, very good, very very good, and uh, we've also got a bit of action going on in the far east, looks like we've sunk some ships, laggy, very laggy, extremely laggy, holy shit. Anyway, uh, yeah, we've... Hello. That's probably too loud. Anyway, uh, we've also got some troops moving towards the Pacific, finally, at the 4th Marine Division, just deployed, and now they're, you know, being sent over to the west uh, to help Australasia. Oh yes. Destroy that French Republic Navy. Battleship focus won't save you now. He's still got 20 ships, but you know, can probably deal with that. Um, I'm invading Morocco first as our Operation Torch uh, because they are part of the Reichspakt and not the Entente, which means that they have less resources at their disposal right now. So that's never too bad of an idea. Uh, actually, the naval invasion can almost proceed. That's quite good. Attention. The Russian Empire has joined the Reichspakt. Well, could there have been any worse of a news? I'm not sure. Actually, why do you not just go to, you know, Portugal? And of course, they're all getting called in because uh, that's what happens. Yeah, 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 the Russian Empire is calling in everyone. Okay, so the Russian Empire has joined the Reichspakt and now Germany's at war with the Far East. So that really does help um, that really does help Russia and it also kind of helps Germany because you know there's probably gonna be some forces pouring on the Western Front from Russia and hello Deutsche Ostasien getting called in you know just just usual stuff so that means that we're gonna have to invade China at some point well I mean we, we already were at war I think with uh, of German China, but maybe I don't know. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> that also means that Japan is our friend now, or at least our the enemy of our enemy. So as you can see, like our submarine has relayed in the position of some Deutsch, sorry, not Deutsch Ostasien, uh, AOG, Allgemeine Ostasischen Gesellschaft destroyers and yeah this is a clash of titans that the germans cannot really win is that 52 cruisers yeah the numbers are getting derped <laughs> but it's okay it is very okay my friend because oh my god so the Siamese fleet has joined the fray as well okay this is actually a big help um yeah, and now our submarines combined with the Japanese submarines are just absolutely tag-teaming these German cruisers. So yeah, the, the naval dominance of the Germans in the east is at an end completely. Very good. Uh, this also means that Ochostasien will have less of an easy time sort of supplying its troops in, uh, in the South Pacific. Alright, you two charge. And you two are almost ready to do the same. There we 
go. Then they can reinforce. No, I don't think I'll take non-aggression packs of you because there's no reason to. And yeah, okay, so the Japanese are fighting and uh, they're taking the beating for us. And, oh my god, look at those cruisers almost ready to die. More naval battles. More of them. Let's give uh, Central America some industrial support and ooh, hello. We can send our light tanks over there to help deal with that. Uh, that's also good, by the way, because that's nationalist French forces that aren't ready to repel our own naval invasions. Why are you not... Oh, you're still preparing, but you should be going right now. Yes, you are. And oh wow, okay, so apparently they are defending Rabat over here. Uh, not exactly the best thing ever, but we will be able to get ashore and uh, hopefully challenge these Germans for control of uh, Casablanca. And alright, so we are in El Alouin. And uh, yeah, we can destroy this desert cavalry relatively easily, most likely, and take that port. Field Hospital 2, or 1, very good. Um, from the Field Hospital, we can then proceed to research Sherman. Very good. Alright. And that was a naval battle and a half. Very, very good. So, Operation Torch has begun, and uh, we are setting a foot in North Africa. Our armor seems to be having problems here because they are reinforcing. That's good though, because the more troops they put on the ground here in Valencia, the less troops that they have to defend against our push in North Africa. Independent media, very good. So the working class media will be independent. Um, now we're gonna go for the Committee of Strategic Services because, you know, decryption and encryption are very, very strong. And all right. Um, In our army, we're the best from the north, yeah, you're still a relatively weak fleet. Unfortunately. See if you can defend Port Moresby. That'd be very, very good. And the other army. Well. Okay, so these troops are about to come ashore. These troops have come ashore. Can you take the car? You absolutely cannot take the car. That is way too many enemy troops. But can you try at least? What? Why can you not attack? Can I move a unit while this is being transported? Oh, it was just being a derp. you <laughs> know? Let's see if we can get the armor ashore. Yeah, just try to help out with the southern push as much as possible. Alright, come on. Okay, so Rabat, we are about to take that, and actually our close air support that we have based in uh, Gibraltar is being a big help there. Unfortunately, we do not have any airfields to do the same in the south, and oh crap. Seems like uh, the combination of Moroccan attacks is really wearing down our men down here. Honestly, this is weird that, uh, because he's only fighting the infantry somehow. Not really sure how that's possible. And, okay, so we have managed to land in Rabat, but it's too bloody late and there's a lot of troops here. Can we rush for this port? That's the question. Most likely. Uh, whatever. I just took that. And there we go. So we are... We have landed here in Morocco. 
or in southern Morocco. Very good. So that's, you know, one beachhead that we do have. Down here, it seems like they have moved most of their forces. Very, very good. So that gives us new opportunities to advance. Now these troops in Madeira, I guess I can send them to here. Let's see if that works. We took Valencia, but now the armor is being pushed out of it. So that's kind of unfortunate. Let's see if we can, you know, if we can hold Valencia and uh, that's gonna have to be with the help of these other brigades and uh, divisions that are attacking from other sides. If we can do that, then uh, we're in a great spot. If not, oh well. It's whatever. Of course, this Moroccan division is being very annoying. Alright, so here we are. We are uh, mostly established in the desert here. Very good. And down here, well, the armor's moving. And the infantry is moving too. That would be a good present for me to see that invasion succeed and yeah, you attack that infantry so that he does not, you know, does not get the chance to reinforce him uh, up east, really. Goddamn German cavalry being annoying. Being seriously annoying. Actually, I will... Do you mean the order belongs to a different army? It does not. Speaking of orders... Oh, there's troops here. Yeah, so this will really not have any impact at all. So I guess I just return to Cabo Verde. That is incredibly annoying. Let them have it. Ready. But at least my armor is just charging. Oh Keep my god, distance. that's so many enemies. Wait. Yeah, I think yes, that this sir. infantry unit is uh, pretty boned. But maybe the armor can sneak around these enemies. Cut their fast. They're really, really fast. Like, these enemy troops are really incredibly, incredibly quick. Not sure how that's possible, but it is happening. Yeah, this is the only port that we have managed to take and uh, somewhat hold, so we are gonna make use of that. Thing. We're gonna make use of that and uh, first upgrade it so that it is a more suitable base. And move out of it. Yeah, I don't see my armor getting out of it either. Um, oh, there's actually a lot of... Uh, yeah, but I... They will not have supply if I put them there. So no. And I do not have air supply. Because I do not have air transports. Ooh, that is annoying. rather not have lost the medium tanks, but it seems like that's gonna be the fate that befell us. Unless they moved everything out of Casablanca, which they didn't. Oh, I may have a chance. They let them through, which was a bad, bad move for them. Down here, uh, yeah, right, the tanks, they need to come here. Attention. 
So now I can completely finish off the Germans and the Moroccans down here, and I can get the tanks to charge north to try to help these troops. Now what's happening here? That's just some naval battles, so that's okay. More naval battles, oh wow. Yeah, say I'm really gangbanging. All right. Tibet has capitulated. Sure. Hey, you know. If you do that, then the Germans will be encircled. He's basically dead. I mean, he can try to hold, but he's gone. So that's whatever. That's whatever. That's fine. Uh, are the troops getting to Australia? Yes, they are. Fine. Down here, you're moving to destroy the Moroccans, and that's working. These troops are getting destroyed in the desert by a bunch of tanks, and I don't see any way to prevent that. Yeah, as always, naval invasions being relatively difficult to accomplish. Oh, but we've just gained a bunch of divisions. Yes. So, 26 divisions. I guess a couple can just be made to be his buddy buddies. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? The port is defended. port is bloody defended by a division that can somehow pierce you. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. How about you try to force attack? Will that really change anything? It does change things. Very good. So, should I use force attack? Should I use and abuse force attack, rather? Who's assigned to that? Oh, that's, um, that's kind of an interesting move there, AI. As much as I do like you capturing ports, I think that will have to come later. Yeah, okay. Uh, this armored division, I'll try to get to here. God damn it. And yeah, I think he might get rescued. He might get rescued. Try to run, man. Try to run. And I think that he is going to take the port. Wow, lesson learned. Force attack is really bloody good. And okay. No, come on. Just at the last second. Okay, good. We have the port. Come on. Yes, hold it. Yes, 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 yes. Very good. So we have the port. That means that the armor here is supplied. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Apparently we cannot... God damn it. Apparently we cannot do that, because we do not control the, the canals or the Strait of Gibraltar. Now, this army... First order of business is to get you trained. And uh, you are going to be needed in the Far East. Are there any, any enemy ships? Doesn't seem like it. I wonder if he has troops protecting that. Sure. That's pretty good. Just give me guns, you know? Guns are good. Um, we do not need so many infantry divisions. That's probably causing half the problems 
with uh, the equipment and some of the vampire issues as well. That's going to be the end of the part, though. Um, pretty quick one today. I didn't have time for much more. So, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And the next time, this foothold that we have gained in, with much difficulty in Africa will hopefully turn into something a little bit more. So, yeah, thank you all for joining, and I'll see you soon.